critical but often overlooked component of the milling process is the retention knob. It can be the first source of chatter, poor tool life, and runout. With ever-increasing stresses being placed on tooling, we need to take a closer look at this connection between the tool holder and the spindle. NMTB holders were not originally designed for automatic tool changes and therefore did not require a retention knob. In order to facilitate the automatic tool change feature on modern CNC mills, tool holders were modified and the use of a retention knob was implemented. There are three different styles of retention knobs. The first style of knob does not have a pilot, which is the shoulder beneath the flange of the knob that rests inside the tool holder. The pilot had been eliminated in an effort to save money on cat knobs. While it may save money on material, it reduces the strength and rigidity of the knob and makes it easier to install the knob off-center. The second style retention knob has the pilot. Notice that because of the pilot, the knob is longer. This added length is below the flange or on the part of the knob that goes into the tool holder, not into the spindle. The third knob is JM's patented high torque retention knob. It has a precision pilot and a relief under the flange. This relief forces the threads into a deeper cross section of the tool holder and is designed to prevent tool holder expansion or distortion. These three styles are manufactured to five world standards. The ANSI or US standard, the JMTBA or Japanese Machine Builder standard, the ISO and DIN or European standards, and the JIS or Japanese Industrial Standard. Retention knobs are often manufactured using combinations of these styles. Once you have determined the style, you need to identify the size of the knob based on the spindle taper requirement. Is the spindle cat or BT? Is it 30, 40, 45, 50, or 60 taper size? The type of thread. Tool holders require metric or English threads. Metric threads are stated in millimeters and English threads in inches. Does the knob need to have a hole for coolant fed through the spindle? If it is not through the spindle, is the coolant side or flange fed? If the machine is coolant fed, is it high pressure coolant? Does the machine manufacturer require O-rings on the knob? And if they are required, are the O-rings on the head side, thread side, or both? Last are some key dimensions that need to be verified. The first is the measurement from the bottom of the flange to the bottom of the knob head. Next is the measurement from the bottom of the flange to the top of the knob head. Determine the dimension of the head. Another key dimension is the neck diameter. Verify the flange thickness. If the knob has a hole, the size of the coolant hole if necessary. In some cases, to accommodate a coolant plunger, your machine may require a special hole. Finally, verify the angle of the knob head to the neck. Is it a 15, 45, 60, or 90 degree angle? All JM Performance Products retention knobs are manufactured from hot rolled 8620H fine grain steel or grade 9310H steel. Knobs can be made from H13 tool steel by special request. The knobs are shot peened to relieve stress and hard turned for superior fit and finish. Our knobs are balanced by design, by starting and stopping the threads 180 degrees from each other. JM Performance Products currently manufactures over 500 different styles of retention knobs for BT, DIN, ISO and CAT tool holders ranging in size from 30 taper to 60 taper. For technical help or to place an order, please call our sales department at 800-322-7750 or visit our website at jmperformanceproducts.com.